Emily Sturm, Realtor on the Diane Keeley team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Town Realty. And today I wanted to put a video together more like a public service announcement because we are expecting uh, the first or one of the first freezes in our area of the winter season this year. So uh, one of the biggest concerns we have at this time of year would be about freezing pipes. If you've never experienced burst pipes, you are lucky. They can be very costly and really um, inconvenient. So here's three simple tips you can um, utilize to best protect your home, whether you are renting or whether you own your home. Okay, the first one is if you've got water uh, on the outside of your house, like a hose bib, any exterior spigot, you can turn the water supply to those off. Uh, you can locate the shutoff for those, either they're usually in the garage or um, an access point like under a kitchen sink or a bathroom sink. Those are the usual places for them, um, but that can help turn off the water flow to those spigots. And then you're going to want to make sure that you empty the water out of them. So outside, turn that on, make sure the water comes out and then turn it off and you're good. Tip number two is if you've got um, either your kitchen sink, bathroom sink, anything like that, uh, usually on an exterior wall is what you're going to want to worry about the most because they're more susceptible to cold winds and freezes. But uh, if you're concerned, just want to be extra careful. What you want to do is you want to drip your faucets. Okay, so what we're looking for is not just a little drip, you're going to want an actual flow of water. Kind of like when you go to the mountains and you see, you know, frozen mountains with snow all over the place, um, but you see like a creek still flowing with water. That's what you want um, because then that means there's no freezing going on. And if that's the case, then there's nothing in the pipes to expand and potentially burst the pipes. So that right there is a good enough flow. Third thing you can do is you can open up underneath your sink, you can open up the doors to let warm air from the heat in your home access the pipes underneath and that should be enough to let those pipes breathe and protect them. So those are the three simple tips to help you keep from experiencing frozen and burst pipes this winter. Uh, you may want to try that tonight since we're experiencing, uh, we're supposed to experience a freeze tonight. Um, or if you're just going to be utilizing this information moving forward throughout the rest of the winter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.